Was it a trial or a cover-up? Cover no witnesses, it's a... No evidence, it's a... No documents, it's a... A trial or a cover-up? Never before has this happened in the history of the United States of America. Never before. Never before have you had the jury foreman, that is the majority leader, say, I'm going to work hand in glove with the defendant and work for their exoneration. Is that a trial or a cover up? Never before, no witnesses, no documents, no process, not even a conversation among the senators as a jury about the weight of the conversation or the presentations. You know, I was really struck because the case is so clear. Here you have the president's personal lawyer going to the Ukraine to arrange a smear campaign on Joe Biden. And then the ambassador gets in the way, so the president recalls the ambassador. And then the new president gets elected in Ukraine and he doesn't want to go along, so you have to create a pressure campaign. And that means Oval Office and holding up security assistance. This is an international corrupt criminal enterprise and the president should be held accountable. in the Senate, some of my colleagues said, you know, okay, yeah, he did it, but it was just inappropriate. Oh. Kind of like, like boys will be boys, right? Well, you know, there are a lot of things this president does that are inappropriate, like, like 16,000 lies to the public. That's inappropriate. Like not putting your holdings into a blind trust to eliminate conflict of interest. That's inappropriate. But this, this, that word inappropriate means meaningless in this context. We're talking about something much worse than Watergate. Watergate, Watergate was spying on the DNC. Okay, that's serious. This is international. This is soliciting a foreign leader. This is pressuring that foreign leader with security assistance. This is smearing an opponent. If you believe that Nixon was appropriately driven from office for his crime, you have to vote to convict. Here's where we go. We go to the streets and we turn him out of office in November of this year. That's how we do it. We have to channel, we have to channel our frustration. We have to channel our rage. We have to dis channel our discouragement and even channel the darkness we feel on this tragic day. And we have to go and put this nation back on track and that means not just a blue Oval Office, that means a blue Senate that will put... And when we get that blue Senate, we need by simple majority to pass HR1 for the People Act. We've got to take on the corruption from our Supreme Court. They, they threw up their hands on gerrymandering and, and allow it. They proceeded to pass Citizens United. They become a super legislature and said that dark money is okay polluting our campaign system. Is it okay? No! And then they gutted the Voting Rights Act in addition. How about we elect a Senate that will have some confirmed Supreme Court justices who believe in the way the people vision of the Constitution of the United States of America? Okay, get ready, wake up tomorrow, let's go to work, God bless you all.